In a debate, the proposition agrees with an idea that they're proposing and the opposition disagrees with that idea. So in this game, we're going to look at various ideas and we're going to decide whether we agree or we disagree on those ideas. Now behind you, we've got a line of tables and also over here. These tables here are the agree tables. If you agree with an idea, you go to those tables. These ones are the disagree tables. If you disagree with the idea I give, you've got to go and stand by those tables. In fact, you can sit on the tables if you like. After I've announced the idea, I'm going to do a five second countdown. And in that five seconds, I'd like you to go to these tables if you agree, or these tables if you disagree with the idea. OK? So the first idea is that people should be vegetarian. Five, four, three, two, one. OK, right. Um, let's uh, go over here first of all and find out why you agreed with that idea that people should be vegetarian. Because if you're a vegetarian, that means that you're um, not meant to eat meat. So, so for example, a, a whole cow, people can only eat certain meat parts of the cow and the rest, the head and the other parts that people can't eat will be chopped off and thrown into waste. So you think that eating meat is wasteful, potentially? OK, let's just go over to the disagree tables here. Why did you disagree with the idea that people should be vegetarian? Because vegetables don't have some of the nutrients that meat has that we need to live. OK, so the idea here that meat contains some potentially unique nutrients. Okay, let's go back down the line here. Why did you agree with this idea. Because if you if you eat too much meat, then you'll get a fat and if let it, it, it you won't live so long. Okay, so let's come to our final point now on the disagree tables. Why did you disagree with this idea? Um, because because for one, people should be able to decide what they want, and and let's say they want to be vegetarian. Fine, let that be. And if they want to be, if they want to have meat, then let them have meat. People can make their own choices so people can be free. OK, so I strongly help you there that people should be able to choose whether they eat meat or not. Very good. OK, well, what we've seen in this exercise then is people giving reasons why they agree and disagree with the proposal. But the reasons you gave were different. Some of them were very strongly held views. Some of them were more pragmatic considerations. This time round, I'm going to give you an idea again, and I'm going to count down from five. But rather than you just going to one table or the other, I'd like you to stand on a line between the tables, reflecting how strongly you agree or disagree. If you strongly agree, you can stand right up by the tables as before, or if you strongly disagree, by those tables. But you can also stand anywhere between. In fact, you could even stand right in the middle if you're really unsure uh, and torn between the two sides. But do think where you're going to stand along the line before you move. OK, that's really important. We should ban violent video games. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. OK, interesting. So we've got quite a lot of strong agreement with the idea of banning violent video games over here. Let's go furthest over to the side of the room. Why do you really strongly agree with that? Because um, there's little little children that play a violent video games, and um, is it involves lots of violence that they shouldn't actually see because mm -hmm. they're they're really little. They shouldn't be um, looking at like guns and stuff like that. Okay, so you think that banning violent video games is a good way to protect young children who would otherwise be looking at guns and things. Fantastic. Okay, let's come down this side of the room. Now, you're inter interestingly positioned here halfway between the centre line and the table. So wh wh what's your view on this? Um, I, don't, I don't play video games, but um, some people play video games because that's the way um, they express themselves. OK, well, thank you very much for that. All right, let's do one more of these. Uh, I'm going to now give you this idea that English is better than maths. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, OK. Fantastic. Well, wonderful we've got so many people that love both uh, English and maths in the middle there. Uh, smattering of support for just English up there. And we've got uh, one future Stephen Hawking down there.